Enemy cruiser sunk. Hello, I am Fresh Potato, and we are back with another video, and I am back in the Tier 8 Soviet battleship, the Sovetsky Soyuz. Soyuz or Soyuz? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sovetsky Soyuz or Soyuz. Yes, it is one of those rare battle or Russian battleships that I like to snipe in. And I know, you know, the thing with the uh, Russian um, dispersion when you're at a distance, I guess it's, it, it's not good. Okay, it's not all that great. You have to push in with these things um, in order to get that good, I guess, good dispersion. Good uh, Sigma, I guess. I guess that's how it works. Or penetration. I, I don't know. Um, it's something uh, you don't... I guess Wargaming doesn't really talk about. Or uh, It's hard to find good information about that. Or the thing with Russian battleships. But hey, when I build for accuracy where I can pop a plane, my Sovetsky Suyas it's, could be very accurate at distance. And that's what I do, of course. With Mr. Lev Galler, okay, the commander with the base trait that makes absolutely no sense. Yes, that guy, Lev Galler, okay, <laughs> he is the accuracy commander uh, for the Russians. And I build full accuracy with him because the Russian battleships need it, right? They need full accuracy, all right? And uh, Sovetsky Suyuz, this is the first. Uh, Tier 8 tech tree ship I got, right, when I was grinding. I grind Soviet battleships first because, again, I am a fan of that low trajectory shells, and that's what the Soviets are known for in their battleships and some of their cruisers. And I, well, like I said, I took this this line all the way to the distance, okay, all the way to the Sovetsky Suyez before I even unlocked the USS Maine, um, I had the Soyuz, and I played a lot of this ship, okay, and yes, <laughs> I like to snipe, or try to snipe in this ship, um, and try to maintain a good angle, because it has really good armor, and it's really, really a strong tactic in the Russian battleships, like Sovetsky Suyez, to maintain as much health as you can, in the beginning of the game, right? So you will have a lot of HP to spare when it comes down to the end, when it's time to push, right? So that's what I like to do. That's my strategy here. So yeah, we're on the Atlantic and the Atlantic is one of those maps that absolutely sucks, right? <laughs> wide open, but uh, maybe that's one of the good things about it, I guess, is that it's wide open, not a lot of places for people to hide okay you're there we see you we shoot at you as we line up a really good superstructure hit on the turpits and yeah but what is this game about well this game is all about ram right <laughs> sometimes you want to ram sometimes you don't right and then there's people that want to ram you when you don't want them to, right? <laughs> Those <laughs> sick people, right? Sick! <laughs> but that's what's going to happen in the end. We're going to get a good ram going on, okay? A ram session going on here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's going to turn out to be, a, I guess, a good idea, okay? To get that ram in the end, right? But here we go. We're trying to line up the Carl. And, boy, let me tell you about the Carl. The Carl, <laughs> gather around, folks. <laughs> the Carl, I, I, I it, that is going to take me a long time to get any good games in. The Carl, Johan, okay, it's that ship is. Uh, how do I say this? For me, that ship is very useless. Okay, <laughs> it's it, it's. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's pretty weak, in my opinion. Pretty weak. The only good thing there, it's the long-range torpedoes. But I see a lot of. I see some content creators that are can 
get some really good games in it. And I think if you're good with cruisers, I guess you'll be really good with the uh, the old Carl Johan, right? But hey, this video is not about the Carl. It's okay. It's about the Sovetsky Sievez. So <laughs> let's go ahead and maintain that good angle. All right. So Vetsky Suyez, maybe one of the hardest ships to sink if you can keep it at a good angle. All right, it's kind of like uh, you know, typical Russian battleships, you know, with uh, or typical German battleships, as I say, with that good uh, good armor. So Vetsky Suyez, and one of the reasons why I'm still so disappointed in the Sovetsky Rossiya. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you guys say, hey, get over it already. <laughs> nope, I will not. Okay, <laughs> I'm still uh, disgruntled over that. Okay, one hundred dollar ship. Okay, <laughs> they say, hey, go get a uh, 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 GoFundMe. All right, <laughs> sell sell a kidney. <laughs> As we line up the turpits again, and we get five overpins going through the superstructure. Hmm. What? <laughs> How do you get five overpins in the superstructure at this angle? Yeah. <laughs> well, it happened, so there it is. But our, like, uh, what is that? Our cruiser or our destroyer friend misses all of those torps. So we're going to see. Maybe we can maybe we can get the kill here. We still have all our guns lined up. Can we do it? No. <laughs> but we do... We do manage to get to 114,000 damage here as we're dancing around here in the open seas of the Atlantic. Okay, we are on the Atlantic. Again, open open ocean. <laughs> All you can do is just dance around here. But the Carl is, uh, look like the, he's decided to back up here. He sees the smoke, so he's going to back it on up. But looks like he's going to turn and do what we need him to do. And that's give us a little broadside there. I'm going to go ahead and take that shot. Can we get a kill with these uh, shells? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I'm in my Carl and when I turn broadside like that, I am sent to the Shadow Realm so fast it makes my head spin, right? But <laughs> when I shoot someone in a Carl that's broadside, yeah, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But here goes the Petro and the Petro, that Russian cruiser, that dangerous Russian cruiser, maybe the best tech tree ship in the game, right? Can we can we give the Petro that award? Best tech tree ship in the game, right? I think we can give it that award. Okay. I think we can give them that. Okay. I, I don't I can't think of any other ship that's in the tech tree that's as good as the Petro, right? That's as good as the Petro. And there's no American battleship that's as good as the Petro, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. As far as tech tree, right? Tech tree ships, free ships. The best free, free ship in the game, the Petro. But again, this video is not about the Petro, okay? <laughs> it is about the Sovetsky Soyuz and ramming people, right? We want to ram someone later, okay? Or do we? Are we going to be the person giving out the ram or are we going to be taking it? Well, <laughs> only time will tell, right? <laughs> only time will tell as we're doing a lot of selling here. Of course, this again, that's what you do in the Atlantic <laughs> when you're on the Atlantic. All you do is just sail in open seas and we're just waiting for that Petro to do something ridiculous like this. So we're going to go ahead. Now we're going to take the shot. Look at those lasers and yes. <laughs> we send that Petro uh, straight to the Shadow Realm. That's only our first kill in the game. We did get the high caliber and we are at 150,000 damage in the game. There goes the Schroeder. And the Schroeder, one of those ships that is uh, really hard to citadel sometimes. It does get some, somewhat annoying for me. There he is. I'm going to pop the spider plane, but it looks like he's going to turn out just in time. So we, we accounted for it, and we did not get a good result. But there we go. We know that the destroyer is somewhere around here. So we're trying not to. We don't want to take too many torps here because we know we're going to... It's going to come down to possibly me and that destroyer because I don't see anyone 
any of my teammates is nowhere near me, maybe that one destroyer in the minimap, our friendly destroyer, can catch up with the enemy destroyer and help us out, hopefully. But we see that that Schroeder looks like, it looks like that Schroeder is going to come from around this island. And that Schroeder, well, that's going to be our ram buddy, right? <laughs> <laughs> they want to ram, but we don't, okay? But that's what's going to happen in the next couple of minutes coming up. And there they go. Now we know what they're doing. So now I'm, I have a decision to make. Do I keep my guns on this side and slow down, or do I turn my guns? Yes, we're going to turn the guns, okay? <laughs> we're going to turn the guns because we know that this is going to be an altercation from this side, okay? And we don't want to present too much broadside to that Schroeder. Okay, we don't want to do that foolishly. At this point, I don't know that his intentions is to ram. It's not going to hit me yet until it's too late. <laughs> right? <laughs> not going to hit me yet until it's too late because, again, I didn't want to ram this guy. Okay, I did not want to ram. I wasn't thinking to ram this person. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. But also, the Schroeder's... Uh, secondaries are pretty nasty. They hit hard for some reason. Okay, <laughs> hit harder than some battleships. But hey, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna try to line up the superstructure. And boy, was that one of the worst shots I've ever taken. <laughs> we, I think we missed everything there. <laughs> From this close, yeah. Okay, it happens to the best of us. And right there, that was my moment there. A ridiculous miss. But hey. We're going to get our reload back, and we know what we have to do. We need to line up those guns of his. Hopefully, we can knock some of those out, because we know we're going to be bombarded here by his secondaries. We don't want to be getting bombarded by his pro main guns as well. We're going to take the shot, and yes, we got one. And now here, I realize what's, what's, what he's trying to do. I say, okay, yeah, this is a ramming situation for him. Why? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? I could have been in reverse earlier. Now I'm going to try to reverse. I don't want to turn and use my only front guns yet. I want to take this last shot before we go into that front gun action routine here. But he is coming up very fast. So we're going to go ahead and try to line up another gun there. And we don't get nothing. But we hit him pretty good. We're now at 180,000 damage as he is trying to ram us here. And then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's ram <laughs> let's ram guys and there we go we send each other uh, straight to the shadow realm but look what it did for our damage we finished the game with 240,000 damage because of that ram that's a lot for looks like I didn't know he had that much life left <laughs> I didn't think he had that much life left but hey <laughs> We'll take it, right? <laughs> it allows us to put this game into the 200k collection, okay, playlist, all right? But hey, look, we finished top of the leaderboard, uh, over 3,000 base XP. We finished with 3,341. We did get those two kills of the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. And look at our team. We've, uh, you know, the top, what, one, two, three, four, five players really good uh base xp over 2000 uh base xp that's pretty good pretty good game for our top five there and hey can't complain there but hey yeah we finished over 200k in the sovetsky suyez when we probably shouldn't have okay <laughs> we shouldn't have we shouldn't have done that but hey like i said we'll take it we will take it but sovetsky suyez how do you guys feel about that or this ship Boy, do I wish I had the Rosia. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> well, here goes the bill. Like I said, Lev Goller with his base trait that makes absolutely no sense. Who shoots HE out of their uh, Russian battleship? Raise your hand. Do you shoot HE consistently out of your Russian battleship? Raise your hand. Okay. Look at that base trait. He adds damage to your HE shells. And yeah. Yeah, makes absolutely no sense for this commander to have it. I wish Wargaming would wake up already and do something about that. But yeah, maybe one day in the near, uh, in the next century they will. Okay, <laughs> they will. But 
it's the Sovetsky CS. Um, I don't play it as much, but when I do play it, I usually have fun in it because, again, I like to take advantage of that armor and play the angle game. And that's, to me, that's one of the, that's probably the funnest thing about this game, in my opinion, to me, is playing the angle game, right? The old angle game and you know, using the old geometry and using the old noggin. Okay, using the brain. <laughs> but hey, that's a Sovetsky CS 240k game. And we ramped. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Enemy cruiser sunk.